So it would seem that wiggling the card works. This has been a Holder Modified quick take on the new Pi Storm 32 Lite update for people with Pi 4s, like I have a Pi 4. Uh, the latest nightly that they've posted, I'll put a link in the description for this extremely short video. It does seem to work. I mean, here I am. I did have to wiggle the card, reinsert it, but uh, sure enough, oops, nope, no, nope, I screwed this up. Let's go ahead and hit quit. And let's mount my share. Load scene, go to that Babylon 5 benchmark that I loaded the four in the previous video, the video that, uh, <laughs> Apparently has upset some folks, that previous video of mine. If uh, you're interested, you can check my channel and go look at it. So here we go. That was uh, pretty fast, honestly, right there. Press the old F9 button. And that is rendering rather quickly. Oh, goodness. So yeah, the Pi Storm 32 Lite is essentially a, I don't know if you want to say more real, quote-unquote real accelerator for your 1200. The Pi 4, well, the Pi 3 or the Pi 4, to do a bare metal emulation or simulation of the CPU, memory, and apparently RT, RTG as well, although I'm not really using that. Well, I mean, the RTG is over here, as you can see. I'd have to install the drivers to activate this screen. But my only interest, because I think ham 8 mode is plenty, was just getting a more conventional accelerator in the 1200 that would run cooler, uh, possibly be faster than the 060, the real world 060, as you see here, with its 128 megs of RAM. This is that kind of same thing. This render took 14 minutes to render on that 060, 14 minutes. So here we go. It took 58 seconds. 14 minutes. 58 seconds. And this is not like the Apollo products where it's like a complete takeover of the system, the, you know, a vampiring of the system, as they call it. Uh, it it's really just seen by the 1200 as a an accelerator card, just an, o, an O40, I guess, or oh, I don't know. I mean, I've got the O60 libraries installed on this 1200, so it's, it's using all that stuff or it's using what it can. So whatever it is, and again, as I always say in my videos, I'm not an expert on this stuff. I'm just an end user. I make these videos so that you don't have to, <laughs> or uh, so that you don't have to spend your money in, in case it doesn't work out. But this is working out. Now, again, I did have to unplug it, plug it back in. It did not work first boot. But here we go. I just did this slight wave render, and it is working. Let's go to perspective view, and... Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, for AGA 8 color with a big mesh like this Babylon 5 station, that's a really good update speed. Impressive. And then, of course, if we go to the more, um, I guess, technical benchmark, which would be sysinfo, which I never remember where I put that. Do I even have it on here? Oh, I do. Here we go. So yeah, sysinfo. Okay, so it is It is a, it's seeing it as a 6840, so not a 6860. It is seeing it as a 6840, so that's what the bare metal is doing. My MMU is not in use, which is interesting, which I find very interesting because I'm using Amiga OS 3.2 ROMs, and this is Amiga OS 3.2.2, and I installed it and chose 1200 so it would do the map ROM. So I don't know if that means this is not working because I, I, it's because it doesn't have the MMU. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not really technical about this stuff. 
Go click on speed. I mean, we just saw what it did in Lightwave, so that should give you an idea, right? And sure enough, yeah, just ridiculous numbers. There you go. 1,630 MIPS and 1,680 M flops. That's just ridiculous. Now, the whole kerfuffle about the chip speed versus A600. I still don't quite understand what that means. I know it means slow gaming if you play games. Well, there it is, 1.57. Is that good? Is that bad? Leave a message in the comments. I have no idea. Uh, Virtual Amiga, why don't you have an idea, Cube? I don't play games. You guys know that by now. I don't really play games with my Amiga, so I'm not really up on what all that means. I, I run Lightwave and other 3D applications. All right, now the drive should be the same speed because I'm not using any, uh, I'm not using the onboard capabilities if this has it. I don't even know if this has onboard capabilities. I'm using my, um, well, what am I using? Well, I'm using the complex, yeah, so 1.4. 1, 1. That actually is faster because that used to say 1.1. 1. 1. So now it's 1.4. I'm using the, you can see it down there, is a compact flash adapter. I guess that means, though, I mean, I could boot off this using the micro SD card to get super, super fast, like 11 megs a second, I'm assuming. Not sure. But there it is. Just wanted to make this video, giving you guys the update. It does seem to work with Pi 4s now. I, at least for what I use it for, which is Workbench and, and uh, you know, Lightwave stuff. I don't really do games. I don't run demos. Uh, does the audio work? Let's see here. Yep, audio seems to work. All right, I guess I'm done with this video.